<laughs> I hope I'm not overdressed tonight. I just got out of the garden, so I brought my little fancy purple flower with me. So I hope everybody's doing well and is happy. Um, let me just get rid of my flower so I can do my thing here. I am so excited to be on Craftastic Live tonight and blooming with all the rest of you. And spring is my very, very, very favorite time of year. I just love it when that, that yellow green starts bursting forth and all of the brown of winter goes away. So I always host what I call a posy party each year for five of my girlfriends. And each one of us brings a tiny potted plant with us to share. It's kind of like a cookie exchange, only it is not cookies, it is plants. And we spend the afternoon potting posies with each other, and we also are sipping herbal iced tea and snacking on finger foods. So this year I decided to fancy up my little gifts with some little recycled craftiness using some old antique buttons and things like that. So let's get started and see what we can do here. So what you need for this is a sheet of yellow scrapbook paper, kind of heavyweight scrapbook paper. And you need a little favor box. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was on sale for a dollar and it's usually only like I think a dollar ninety nine for ten of them so they're real easy to find and you will need some buttons of course and I've got three you can usually use two or three different ones and I have a little piece of um, Hershey Kiss foil here that I saved from Valentine's Day that I'm going to show you something to do with I knew I'd find something to do with that and then I have just a tiny scrap of cute little scrapbooking paper that I'm going to use. Something to punch a hole with. I'm going to use a green and a pink marker. I'm also going to use a, another permanent marker just to draw with a little bit and some fancy little cutting scissors. I also am going to use a um, a hole punch that's got a scalloped edge. It's a two inch hole punch that I just love. Use that a lot. And some ribbon also. So let me get this out of the way and let's get started. So the first thing I do with my 12 by 12 inch yellow cardstock is fold it in two so that it will fit through my printer. So I go into my Photoshop program, or you can do it in any kind of program that actually prints text, and find a nice font and print out on your piece of yellow scrapbook paper. And I choose, chose Bloom for tonight, <laughs> which seemed appropriate, I guess. And so what the first thing you do is need to take your little scissors and cut that right out. And I'm not going to bore you by cutting too much of this, but I usually get four of them on my, on my sheet. So I already have one that's cut out here. So that's what it looks like. I kind of round the edges, but that's not something you really have to do if you don't want to. So the first thing I do is take my pink marker and I color in my letters. and this is a permanent marker and if you if your printer does not print and it bleeds then go ahead uh, you can spray it with like workable fixative or the Krylon stuff that will keep it in place but my printer prints pretty well and pretty solid and doesn't run so just quickly fill that in and the next thing I want to do is get out my little favor box. You can see how cute this is. And it is just perfect, perfect size. When I bought this, I knew I'd find something wonderful to do with this. And it's the perfect size to hold these little plants that you get in the little six packs. So that's what we're actually doing tonight is fixing that. 
And the first thing I want to do is to drill some holes in the side of it. And I just use my awl, or you, if, if you have a paper punch, you can do it that way. I'm going to open them up a little bit because I want them to be big enough to put some of my ribbon through. So it looks like a little carrying thing. And I'm going to set that aside for now and get my button. And you can use any kind of buttons. I use usually three different sizes, so they'll kind of nest and look cute together. And if you don't have the right colored buttons, you can always paint them with acrylic paints or spray paint them. But again, I saved some wrappers from my little kisses at Valentine's Day. So I'm going to cover this one with some of that pink paper because I think it looks really cool in here. Just do that quickly. And I'm going to take my hot glue and I am going to glue this right on the bigger button. And then I'm going to glue. If, you're, if your button has a shank on it, you might want to cut that off. Um, I usually use like the heavy wire cutters or even my rotary tool to just sand it off. But since this button has a divot in it, I think it'll sit in there nicely, so I didn't bother taking that off tonight. So let's hope it just sits there and is good. Thank you. All right, the next thing I want to do is take my little scrap of paper and my hole punch, and I'm just going to insert it and turn it over on the bottom so I can see where my paper is coming in. And I'm just going to punch that little scalloped thing. Isn't that cute? I love that. And I'm going to put some hot glue right there and put it down. And then I'm going to put some more hot glue right on top of that. And this is real quick and easy too. I think it is. So it's kind of a fun project. And sit that right down in there. And let's wait for that to dry. I'm going to take my other pen, my permanent pen. And sometimes I make stitches. I will draw stitches or just a straight line or whatever because I want to I want it to have a stem and I want it to have some leaves. So you can draw this little straight in there. And to draw leaves, just don't be afraid of them. You can put a semicircle, two semicircles joined together. That's all you have to do. Cool. And then I'm going to take my green marker and I am going to fill those in. Easy, easy peasy. And so, so cute. And by the way, I want to apologize for my voice tonight. I've been really, really sick. I rarely get colds, but I happen to have had one for over a week now, so I'm kind of full of Diet Coke tonight. And cold medicine that I actually had to show my driver's license to get. So I don't know what's in that stuff, but I'm feeling pretty good. So hopefully we can make it through this. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. The next thing I want to do is kind of dry fit this on my box to make sure that I've got it lined up right and kind of just press in at those corners so I know it'll work. And before I attach that, I am going to attach my ribbons because those can get kind of unwieldy. So I've picked a couple of color, matching color ribbons here. And if my old hands will thread this through this hole, we will get this little thing put together. All 
All right. One side. <laughs> Sometimes my fingers just don't want to work anymore. And let's thread this one through. I hope my time's okay. <laughs> Got to see how time how long this was. All right, so enough fiddling with that, and then just to add some extra little blingy ribbons on the side. Also, I won't bother tying those on. You know what? You know what I'm talking about. So I am going to go ahead and put some glue on the front. And then I'm going to set my little bloomer. I'm not cursing. I'm just setting my little bloom thing on top. And then I'm going to do the sides quickly. Can't even squeeze the glue gun. <laughs> Those pills must be getting to me, I tell you. All right. So, then I'm just going to plop my little plant in. And I usually just get a little plastic bag of some sort and stick it in the bottom. So, any wetness will stay away from the bottom of the box. And they lose that on the way home. All right, there we kind of have our little blooming surprise. And I usually make, also, I will make this, I'll scan this in, and I will make a card for to invite the people to the party. This is also really good. You can use it for, uh, if you have like a garden party or a spring brunch, you can make this as your name tag or a favor for a gift. And it's just a real fun, quick and easy project to share with your girlfriends out there. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And are there any questions? Did I miss any questions? Thanks. I wanted to show you all one thing out of my garden before we go. These are my first roses of spring. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I wish you could smell them. I'll smell them for you. <laughs> love them, love them, love them. So, thank you all. If there's no questions, I will see you later.